Dr. Doan here. We're in Okinawa, Japan, and we're gonna test these power lines and see how much electromagnetic fields are present here in this location, and my wife's gonna be a subject for this experiment. We were so excited to return back to Okinawa, Japan because we wanted to test these power lines. They are massive. There's one, two, three, four, five, six levels of electrical lines running through here. And if you look at my tri-field meter, we're measuring the electric field and it actually maxes out above 980 volts per meter. And sometimes it actually even pegs it out. This meter is the Fluke 287 true RMS multimeter is actually grounded with the black lead to a grounding stake over there that's an 18 inch grounding stake and the red lead is now going to measure the body voltage uh, in Julie she's wearing shoes that are basically insulating her from the earth yeah and she's grabbing the red lead and with the red lead her body voltage is over 18 volts AC so let's see what happens when she grounds to the ground. When she grounds in the grass, it's now like less than 70 millivolts AC or 0 0.063 volts AC. And step on the concrete there, Jules, and see what happens. So concrete here also contains basically coral. some conductive elements, coral and rock and natural elements. You can see that she can actually ground effectively. So the next thing we're gonna show is how much current travels from her body as she grounds. So one of the theories is that there's an umbrella effect. When you ground, it actually causes you to be a Faraday cage and the skin then deflects all EMF. I don't think that's the case. And so if that's the case, there should be zero amperage flowing from her body to the ground when she's grounding. And we can use actually the voltmeter as a grounding source and see what is the amperage that flows from the body to the ground as she stands here in this, this high EMF source. To do this is simple. I'm gonna basically disconnect here and then put into the uh, amperage slot. We're gonna go milliamps. Okay, so the meter is now reading microamps. And so this will actually measure the amperage that flows through the red lead to the black lead to the earth. And also it will, um, it has really low resistance in this Fluke 287 so that it actually can be a, a grounding source for the body. And then as she's grabbing the metal probe, she's also ungrounded because she's wearing shoes. We can see that flowing out of her body is over seven microamps. So as she's standing here, her body voltage is low, but the amperage actually increases and the amps is flowing into the ground. And that is why the voltage is low. So I really don't think that what we're seeing here with drop in body voltage, which is actually shown to be possibly beneficial to health, it's not related to a Faraday cage effect, but in essence, a outflow of the electrical potential through current flowing into the earth.